Good morning, fellas. I'm going to take a minute here and go through the Masso setup screen for the uh, bridge port that I converted with the um, Masso, the clear pass servos, and the ball screws. I'm going to cover just the setup screen this morning and what it took to make ours work. Um, I was, you can also see how fast this thing starts up on the Masso. And we'll turn it on right now. There it's booting up uh, Neo7 CNC, if you want to check his channel out. He also done a video if you're having any kind of uh, setup issues. So here we are, we're ready to go. Um, we're going to log in. Uh, the password, the default password, is a capital HTG. That'll let you into the jog screen. And then when we get over to the setup screen, this is going to ask you to re-enter your password, and this will protect it protects your uh, setup so nobody can change it. You can change these passwords. I've left mine in default just because there's uh, only two of us in the shop. So I'm gonna go back there and reset the e-stops there real quick. Uh, okay, now the machine is ready to be honed. Uh, one other quick tip, uh, if you're looking at this, buying one of these and setting it up, uh, for this piece right here, the uh, page up and page down buttons, run that for your additional small step. Just uh, one little thing there to know about it. Okay, back over to the setup screen. So we in had to invert all of our homing sensors right here in this section. We inverted all the homing sensors, that way they would light up when home is made. Um, the homing direction is set to be inverted on two out of the three axes. We are homing at 400 millimeters per minute and we're doing a pull off distance of about two millimeters. Uh, the next one there is the spindle control. We are not currently using the spindle control. We will be uh, here in the near future. And when I go to uh, set that up, I'll explain how that works too. But as far as ours, uh, we like to run ours in inches. We do all of our Fusion 360 in inches, just that's what we like. The lubrication is not set up yet. Um, I will be adding that. I'm gonna build up my own tank and air reservoir to uh, to pressure lube the old machine. So she's a little worn out. It won't wore the rest of the way out yet. The X-axis has the two 200 thousandths per revolution ball screws, it and the Y. Each of the motors are 800 pulse can, uh, pulses per revolution on the clear pass servos. We're doing around 5,000 millimeters per minute, and the acceleration is 100 millimeters per second. The X axis has uh, 584 millimeters of travel. The Y axis is 266 millimeters. And the Z is a little different from everything. Uh, the Z had to have an additional gearbox put in, in uh, line uh, to get enough uh, torque to uh, run the, that heavy knee up and down. The, um, the settings come out to the old crank handle was only 100 thousandths per revolution. So it had to be turned two times to get the 200 thousandths. And I put a 5 to 1 gearbox that's how I came up with the 10 to 1 settings that you can see the difference between the X, the Y, and, and then the Z is all, everything is 10 to 1. We can do a maximum feed rate of, 10, of 500 millimeters per minute. And the, the distance per revolution is only 0.5 millimeters. Well, 508. Now what come up different on this is the part we had a hard time figuring out is when we went to home the Z-axis, we was inverting the homing sequence and the motor. Well, when we did that, the homing part would work great. And then when we went to run and mill, it would work okay. But when we went to absolute zero, it would raise Z, and that's how we broke the first end mill. I had the end mill set and running right on top of the part. I hit uh, control start, it started, it raised the Z, thinking it was going to zero, and well, the end mill didn't make it. 
So after that, uh, we played and messed around and messed around. And finally, what we come to the conclusion of is both have to be uninverted and you have to put a negative travel into the Z axis. So I hope that helps uh, somebody else figure out uh, what's going wrong if they're having the same issue. Um, that's what we had to do. We had to change the direction, uh, the, the travel min and max. We had that set at uh, the travel minimum at a zero and the max at 366 millimeters. And what we found is we couldn't get any combination of inverting this or this to get it to work. And one other note to also is we didn't know this for sure and we couldn't really find it in the literature is if you have this set in inch, it only controls what you display here on the machine settings. We didn't know when we changed this to inch and to millimeters if this changed and it just didn't represent the controls. If it, you know, if the setup screen, well, we come to find out the setup screen is always in millimeters no matter what. Let's see. Um, well, that's about it for today. I just want to go through a quick setup, our quick setup screen, the clear pass servos. Um, they seem to be doing really well. We've changed them over to a different set of power supplies. We was having some over voltage and saturation problems, but we got rid of that. Uh, well, if you guys got any comments or questions, please let me know. I'd be glad to help anybody with their setup. If you like the video, please subscribe. <laughs>